Now let's add the routing abilities into our um, into our uh, application. So first of all, we want to use the really really successful and great uh, UI router of Angular. Uh, so to add this, we need to add first of all its uh, Meteor package. So we'll write Meteor add and then Angular UI router. Now that it's added, we need to also edit the Angular module as a dependency of our application. So we're going to add here, and when we define our application, we're going to add that it also depends on UI router. Now, what the thing we want to do is, first of all, we want to take this view into a specific place and then to add another view that contains, let's say, a specific party details. So, first of all, let's create a new template, a new HTML file, we'll call it parties list and it will contain the parties list that we actually have already right now. Now we'll just simply copy, cut everything that we have here. And we're going to place it here. And for us to have access into this file and into this template, we're going to name it. We're going to define it under a template and we're going to name it in a convention with the, with the file's name. Okay, now we don't need to define the controller here because we're going we're gonna to use the UI router's ability to define specific controllers into specific routes. Okay, so next thing we want to do is to define here the base of our uh, templates, the main template, and under it everything will be placed. So let's just write here a simple div, and then let's place here like a, let's say an h1 that contains the home, and let's put a link here to return home now let's add another div that under it everything we want to refresh will be under it and this is we're going to put it the directive UI view when when we put this here we then UI router understands that uh, everything that he, it will render, it will render under here. So now let's define our second uh, parse partial and let's call it party details. And let's define very simply just for now, let's just first of all name it. And then just like let's write the details of the party. And for now, we're just going to show how we get the ID into, into this route. So the details of the party and let's write id equals let's party 
80. Okay. So now let's start defining our roots. So let's go into app.js. This time I'm going to take the socially app and config it with roots. So first of all, very simply like regular UI, UI router. Now let's define our roots. So first of all, the first thing we want to do, our location provider, we want to say that we're using HTML5 mode, which means that we won't have any hash bangs or any uh, any characters before our root. It will just be simply our domain slash the current root that we're using. So to do that, with UI router, we need to do like that. With Angular and UI router, we need to do like that. Then we're gonna start defining our roots with the state provider. So it's what will be defined like that. Start with let's say the parties and the state, and then we will render. Our um, our parties list. So the URL. Let's just define it as parties. And then the template that will be rendered will be parties list. HTML and the controller that will will be the parties list controller. Now let's define the second state in the same way. Second state we'll call it party details and we're gonna define the URL as parties and then as the parties ID defined uh, to define a variable is you can do it like that. There's more ways of doing that. You can read it on UI routers documentation. The template we're gonna use is party details dot html and the controller will be party details controller which we're going to define now. Now, also we want to define what happens if we're using a different, totally different URL that doesn't exist. What would be the default URL to redirect to? So, we're going to do that right now. Any other URL that is not defined will be redirected to parties. Now let's create our second controller, the party details controller. So we're going to define it very similar to the party list, parties list controller. Let's name it party details controller. And 
cool for for now we're just gonna we're not use the not going to use the not the collection here and not those functions the only thing we want to do is to take fro to take the um, the ID of the party from the URL and save it into the scope so for that we're going to use the uh, service par the state param service let's define scope dot party ID equals state params dot party ID which is the name of the rough variable that we defined here okay let's run it and see if it works let's go here hmm. and also let's add a link into the, uh, the you will click the name and it will redirect us to the current parties ID so let's go to the parties list and surround the name with a link slash parties slash and then defining here the party dot ID let's see if it works now so let's wait for a refresh Have it with the app, so let's run the app. And let's run the application. I forgot config of course. Let's rerun the app. Hmm. Another thing we need to add uh, in the index HTML is the base tag. The base tag basically means that uh, if we're using HTML5 mode, since Angular uh, 1.3, we have to add the base tag so into the head. So in Meteor, everything will will that we we'll put inside the head tag will be aggregated and added into the head of the application. So all we need to do is add the head tag and. Find the base. Okay, we're running. Let's click on a party, and you can see that we are redirected into the controller party's details controller, and it says the details of the party ID are the party's ID that is defined in here. Let's click home, and we are redirected back to the list of parties. We can add a new party, even better. And we can move here, we can click back and move back. Let's go into the another 
client refresh. Click on a new party, delete the party, but it's also here. 